It spoke to me on so many levels. I, um, first of all, love true crime stories. Love stories from New England. You know, I'm from Massachusetts, and this, just this, this, she's this mythic character, and she has this big following. And I just thought it, it had a lot of appeal and a lot of draw. And I just liked when we first were developing, we're like, um, do we make it kind of like a game of Clue and show all the different, you know, ideas or scenarios of like how it could have played out? Because there's so many different theories. So we really had to hone in on 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 the story that. We we wanted to tell and how we wanted to tell it. In the beginning, we had a lot of conversations just about the character and who she was and this deep oppression, suppression, and the loneliness inside that house and that sort of, that deep yearning for something more. Maybe you can't even put your name on it. But I think I always try and start with the facts. Um, I went through every single book that it exists, went to the Fall River Historical Society, went to the house, spent the night in the murder room, you know, went we through all the went trial and transcripts. We visited her grave site, and it was, happened to be her birthday. Happened wow. to be her birthday. No, we actually, left it was the anniversary of her death. Oh, the anniversary, and we left yeah. pansies, June which were her 6th. favorite flower. Yeah. Yeah. But then I think you have to sort of, and, and, and part of it is just the story itself, like, kind of reach a black hole at a certain point, where the trial transcripts and the police reports don't tell you what happened in the house mm -hmm. in those months or, or years leading up to these events. And so for me, that was actually the exciting part, to kind of be able to use my imagination and try and put myself in Lizzie's shoes and, and just have some compassion for her situation mm -hmm. and try to open it up from there and, and, and picture life inside that house and how desperate and, and Terrifying, it must have been for her. Yeah, I, I obviously you never when you play a character like that, you never play a villain. Mm -hmm. They're always right. You always come from their point of view. And but he is an interesting character. Because unlike Andrew, he is so desperate. Like you can feel the desperation coming off him of trying to literally get a grip on something. Let me into this family. Give me a niche. Give me some money. Give me some power. Something because the consequences for this guy are pretty dire. If he doesn't succeed here. He's out. I mean, he's got nothing. And so this is his last chance. And I, I sort of love that that cruel, you know, America's a cruel capitalist place. It's a really cruel culture. And if you don't make it in a capitalist way, you're screwed. And here's this guy really trying in nefarious ways, in awful ways, to just get his. And he fails. And, I, and I love when I also love, I love when characters fail. I love flawed characters, characters who don't succeed. And I love the moment when Lizzie basically turns it on him in the prison and she says, I'll come, you'll never be safe anywhere. And John believes it because I think he knows that she killed them and he honestly is terrified of her. We are on such a tight schedule that really, I, I think we've got like two takes at most, you know, some yeah. were even oneers. Mm -hmm. And of course, I've been dreaming of playing this character for 10 years, you know, and and had so many ideas that I wanted to bring and, and we just had to keep moving and like, Bryce luckily was at the monitors every every scene, every day he was there and, and watching and like if I got the nod from him, then I felt safe. But you know, there was so much more that I wanted to be able to explore and because we shot in 23 days, how many pages was the script? 98. Yeah, Something that it like was that. just like, wow. it, yeah. it, there wasn't a lot of room. So so in that case, it was it was pretty terrifying. You know, as an actor, you want to be able to, to, to play more. And um, But I think that maybe lent itself to how kind of I almost became kind of tighter in that, you know, mm -hmm. just like, oh my God, this is my one chance. So instead of like loosening, I don't know, I, I, it maybe dictated the performance a little mm -hmm. bit, which was interesting.